One month after Donald Trump won the presidency, he turned to billionaire builder, sometimes business partner, and longtime friend Jorge Perez for help building a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Dubbed Miami's condo king, Perez's company has shaped skylines worldwide. In December, Perez received an email attachment with a message penned by Trump. The handwriting was his uh, that went with the attachment. The email, which CNN saw under the condition it not be shown, was sent from the Trump Organization and signed by Trump. These images resemble the ones in the email. Inside the email was the wall. Uh, you know, the 2,000 mile, 30 foot wall with some sketches. And he said, uh, we'd love to get you involved in this. Please give me a call. A patrol road would separate the wall from a secondary barrier. Another email attachment, a map showing the wall extending from California to West Texas. Though the images he received are unlikely the final plan, it's a look at Trump's early vision for the wall. See that ceiling? That ceiling is much lower than my wall. Trump has spoken in general terms about the wall and the few details we have heard have changed, including that 2,000 mile length. You have a lot of natural barrier and a lot of things. So the wall is 1,000 miles, right? The current requirements. Former Customs and Border Patrol agent Rowdy Adams worked the southern border during his 28 year career. So when the president talks about the wall, it's oftentimes in the terms of it would be a concrete wall, something similar to this. You say, bad idea. Why? It's a bad idea for primarily for an officer safety reason. You cannot see on the other side of that to determine what it is that may be additional threats. Adams does see benefits of having two barriers in urban areas. So the time somebody comes, breaches that first uh, barrier and gets mm -hmm. across the roadway, and in this particular case, in an urban environment, you might want a secondary fence to slow them down until a response vehicle or response cap capacity winds up showing up in time. The White House did not deny Trump reached out to Perez for help building the wall. In an email to CNN, a spokesperson said, quote, we are not aware of any conversations between the two. A senior White House official speaking more generally tells CNN Trump has been looking at various blueprints and sketches of the wall along with his top advisors. Perez, a Democrat, turned down Trump's request to help build the wall. I think it's an insult to, a, to all Hispanics and maybe all immigrants in this country and also because I don't think it's going to achieve its purposes.